10 contestants, three dessert categories, and only two hours on the clock. In this season of the Humber Pastry Cup, things are about to get heated in the kitchen. This year, contestants are going to create three mouth-watering desserts inspired by the carnival. As the competition unfolds, the contestants will face immense pressure while tackling challenges that are specifically designed to test the limits of their skills and creativity. Only time will tell. Who will stand out from the rest and become this season's Pastry Cup winner? Welcome to the second annual Humber Pastry Cup. It's a fantastic day out there, and we have a lot of students that are really excited to show you what they've been working on for the past few weeks. So um, I'm Chef Susan. I'm going to be one of your co-hosts for today. And I'm Chef Josie. And today we have our carnival-themed Humber Pastry Cup. We have three categories, and the students are very excited to start. So we have a dessert on a stick, we have a donut, and we have a cake that looks like something, but it's actually cake. So we think everybody can probably get into that trend quite a bit. Yes, totally. So the students are very excited. We're excited to start. And we're going to introduce our students now. So our competitors, starting with competitor number one, Brickster. <laughs> competitor number two, Emily. Competitor number three, Marco. Competitor number four, Natasha. Competitor number five, Salma Nura. Competitor six, Rula. Competitor seven, Shahana. Competitor number eight, Shumaila. Competitor nine, Salisa. And last but not least, competitor number 10, Zenya. Okay, and I'm going to introduce our fantastic judges who we're so happy to have with us today. Thank you guys so much. Um, so I'm going to start with Dufflet. If you wanted to just introduce yourself, that would be amazing. Hi, I'm Dufflet Rosenberg. I'm the founder of Dufflet Pastries. As everybody probably knows who we are, we've been around as long as I don't know how long already. It's over 40 years. And I'm also known, which can is reminding me, as the queen of cake. <laughs> Toronto. I can attest to that. <laughs> okay, and here we have our fantastic um, corporate sponsor, Chef Thomas Heights. He's going to introduce himself. Hello, I'm Chef Thomas Heitz from Kraft Heinz Canada. So we're one of the bigger brands. We, you probably recognize us from your fridge. Philadelphia cream cheese peanut butter bears, which are two products that we're going to be having here today. So I'm excited to see what these guys can do with our products. So good luck. And here we have another fantastic corporate partner, um, Sean O'Shaughnessy from Upper Crest. He can just introduce himself. Hi, I'm Sean O'Shaughnessy. I'm the Senior Vice President uh, of Marketing, Product Innovation and Strategy for Upper Crust. Uh, we manufacture uh, croissants, bagels, artisan breads uh, for a lot of folks that uh, you eat at every day and we're very proud of that. We have a tremendous team and we're honored uh, and I'm honored to, to be here today in front of wonderful young culinarians, uh, the future of, of food. This is really exciting, so uh, good luck to everyone. All right, students, are you ready? Are you excited? Okay, on your mark, get set, go! Your first category of the competition is a dessert on a stick. And you must use one of these three Kraft Heinz products. Peanut butter, cream cheese, or hazelnut spread. 
Okay, Brickster, how are you feeling today? I'm excited. You nervous? A little bit. How long have you been preparing for this? I've been preparing for like two months. Two months, so you're, you're ready. Good. So, what are you making today? Today I am making um, s'mores on a stick. So it's um, marshmallows, then graham crackers, and then hazelnut paste inside. Then I'm gonna torch it. Ooh, sounds wonderful. Well, good luck, Brickster. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm Brickster Galapon. I am a first year of um, baking and pastry arts management. Ever since I was a kid, I've loved baking and decorating stuff. That's where I put my creativity in. My dream job is to be a pastry chef, to own my little cafe. Okay, and I'm here with our amazing student, Emily. Emily's gonna tell us about what dessert she's making for this round. Um, so for this round, I'm doing a take on a baked Alaska. I'm doing a chocolate cake with the Kraft uh, crunchy peanut butter ice cream. And right now I'm just tempering the chocolate that I'm gonna use to dip um, my uh, dessert with. And then I'm gonna top it off with a little su baked Swiss meringue instead of the classic toasted Italian. Sounds delicious. My name is Emily and I'm a second year pastry student at Humber College. And I'm a Humber Cup participant this year. Um, I chose the program at Humber because I was previously at the Guelph Humber campus, so I already knew that I liked this campus and I liked the programs that they ran here. So when I decided that I wanted to go into baking, I just said, why not Humber? And I've loved it ever since. I think my dream job would to be uh, owning my own bakery. Um, I've always liked the bake shop style and I've always wanted to have like my own little business to run and to um, give joy to other people with like the things that I can make. Okay, so we're at contestant number three, Marco. Marco, how are you feeling? I feel good. We, I prepared a lot for this competition and it is a day off, so I feel good. And Marco's from Italy, yeah, yeah. so is there, an, is there any Italian inspiration today? Not today, I've decided to go for an American classic uh, for my dessert or yeah, a candied apple. The theme was circus, so I thought what more, what uh, better to present for the judges, but uh, my dessert has a twist. Good, great, Marco. We're looking forward to seeing it. Thank you. My name is Marco. I'm a 22 years old uh, umber and baking uh, pastry arts student. I also have uh, a one year culinary background. I come from Italy. I've moved here three years ago, and uh, it's been a wild ride ever since. I'm a very creative person. Um, for my end goal, like my end position in this career, I would love to teach. I would love to express my creativity. I think something in research and development would be a really good position for me. So maybe Kraft Heinz is looking for somebody, you know, remember my name. Okay, and I'm here with Natasha, who is making a really awesome, colorful dessert. Um, it looks like camp-inspired, so she's just going to uh, talk a little bit about this amazingly colorful creation. Hi, Chef. So I'm making a, like, a banana on a stick, like frozen banana type thing. It's a banana mousse. There's some cake in it. There's some uh, cream cheese in it. It's uh, pretty good, and uh, it's going to look like a little realistic banana, ideally. Awesome. I'm Natasha Herlich. I'm 20 years old. I'm in my last semester of the Humber Baking and Pastry Management program. My dream job would be to be able to be creative as much as I possibly can. Like I want to be able to just decorate cakes or make chocolate pieces or sugar, just whatever, just being creative like every day. That would be the dream. Okay, we have with us Salma Noura. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good, just a little bit nervous. Nerves are normal, don't worry about that. What are you making today? So I am making a peanut butter mousse and a Swedish brownie and some nuts. So it's gonna be on these cones over here and it's gonna be like an ice cream. Sounds good. So good luck. Thank you. Don't be nervous, you're good. <laughs> 
My name is Nora Salma and I'm actually an international student from Sweden. So I came here to join the Baking Pastry Cup because I love baking and that's what I'm studying currently here at Hamba. I chose the Baking and Pastry program because baking is something that I've always loved and baking to me is like therapy, like when you're baking you don't think about anything, like you just focus about the main product or the outcome of the product. So I'm here with Rula, who is hard at work making a fantastic looking creation. Um, Rula, you want to tell us a little bit about the, the dessert on a stick that you've designed today? Yeah, my dessert on a stick today is about creamy cheese pistachio cake pops with a hint of uh, orange blossom water. I make a blend with my back culture and the uh, taste here in, uh, in Canada. Wonderful, it smells delicious. I am uh, Rula Kazimi. I am uh, s uh, second semester uh, baking and uh, pastry arts management at Humber College. I like design cake. This is my favorite things. When I see the smile and the happiness when people uh, sh uh, see their own cake, <laughs> no way. <laughs> Okay, we're here with our next contestant, Shahana. Shahana, how are you feeling today? Very nervous. But excited? Ick, very excited. So what are you doing today? So today my dessert on a stick is an eclair on a stick, and it's gonna be decorated as like a corn on the cob, and it's filled with banana pastry cream and caramel. And I'm using the Kraft uh, cream cheese as my frosting. Sounds wonderful, good. My name is Shahana Benamara and I'm a first year here at Humber in the Baking and Pastry Arts Management Program. I've always wanted to go to a baking or pastry school and I've heard lots of great things about Humber's culinary and baking program so I thought that this was a better fit for my journey. My dream job is to eventually open up my own pastry shop, patisserie, either here in Toronto or to move abroad to Europe and do that there. I love making eclairs, so any combination of modernized eclairs or the classic ones would definitely be a staple in my shop. Okay, so I'm here with Shumaila, who is an amazing uh, culinary grad who came over to baking. So she has a really unique and awesome skill set. Um, Shumaila, what are you making for us today? Um, so for the dessert on this stick, I'm gonna make a Ferris wheel croissant. Uh, I'm gonna decorate with the chocolate decorations, um, look like a Ferris wheel. Mm -hmm. And for the filling, I'm gonna do the marshmallow, peanut butter, coffee cream filling inside. So yeah, just with the icing sugar, yeah. Sounds amazing. My name is Shamila, and I'm in uh, first year of Humber Baking and Pastry Arts Management. I was already doing the culinary management here, and then I decided to do the baking and pastry arts management too. My dream job would be to have my own little cafe with the side of small library. That's what I always imagine. I hope one day I'll accomplish that. The one food item I'm gonna have in my cafe will be um, semolina cake. That's my aunt's recipe and I love that one. It's so simple but it is delicious. <laughs> Okay, our next contestant is Salisa. Salisa, how are you feeling today? Nervous and excited. Good, so what are you making? Uh, I have a cheesecake in the shape of a corn dog with some cream cheese, ketchup, and mustard. Sounds cool, are you excited? Good. Good luck. My name is Salisa Prasad. I'm in the second year at Humber's Baking and Pastry Arts program. I wanted to be a lawyer at first, and then I realized that baking was my passion, it was something I wanted to do, and I thought Humber could be a good fit to help me get there. My dream job would to be own a bakery that specializes in custom cakes and decorating custom cakes as well. Okay, so I'm standing here with Xenia. She is making something fantastic. How are you feeling today? Um, nervous and kind of happy, I guess. It's, an, it's kind of a nerve-wracking experience, but you're doing a fantastic job. So do you want to tell us a little bit about what you've made? 
Sure. Uh, since we have a carnival theme, I decided to go with a meringue cookie shaped like a mustache, um, piped with a chocolate hazelnut ganache. Mm, sounds great. Hi, my name is Dina Saez Parbu and I'm from the Humber Baking and Pastry Arts Management second year. I had studied a lot of culinary abroad and in other countries and when I started to work in a pastry restaurant, I found out that pastry was my passion and Humber gave me the opportunity to continue that. My favorite thing to bake is actually cookies. I like to bake a lot of cookies. Okay, Susan, so we see all these contestants in our kitchen today. What does it look like? How are they doing? Um, it's really quiet in here, so um, you could hear a pin drop, so you can, <laughs> you can feel those nerves behind us. Um, you know, it, it, there's been a lot of lead up, a lot of anticipation for this particular event. So, um, yeah, I think the students are ready to go. They're ready to prove what they can do, and there's a lot of good energy in here as well. Yeah, a lot of them said they're nervous, but they don't look nervous. They look excited. They've been preparing. I think they're going to be good. And our... Kraft Heinz products, I mean. Yeah, come on. I mean, Peanut butter, like? hazelnut spread, cream cheese. You can't go wrong with that, yeah, right? <laughs> I know. The judges have a really tough job to do yeah, today. Yeah, I, so. I, I really kind of envy them. They yeah, have to have all these beautiful desserts today. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't really see it, but the smell in here is already fantastic. There's a lot of great uh, sort of aromas coming from behind us. So um, we're really excited to see how these taste. Okay, so we're gonna start presenting our dessert on a stick. So our first competitor to present to the judges today is Brickster. Brickster, come up and uh, present your, your dessert on a stick to the judges. So Brickster. Tell us what you've made today. Tell the judges what they're eating. Right in front of you is um, marshmallows. That's inside is graham crackers. And holding the dessert is like little lugs. So what Kraft Heinz product did you use today? Um, I used the hazelnut paste. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I like that nice, uh, a little bit of char, that creaminess, mm -hmm. that mar classic marshmallow taste. So am I and supposed to be eating this with this as well? Should I take this apart? No. That's no? just the stand, right? Okay. Yeah. So, oh, and the, is the hazelnut in the middle? Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. So I gotta get in the middle. I have to get in the middle now. Get deconstructed s'mores, right? Good yes. job. Yeah. Good, you get, you get that hazelnut chocolate finish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wonderful. And a little bit of that nice crunch in the middle, mm. so good job on there. Yeah. And it very uh, appealing and very pleasing. Good job. Yeah. Good. Thank Excellent. you, Brickster. Thank you. Excellent. Very well done. Okay, our next contestant to present their dessert on a stick is going to be Emily. Emily, come up. Hi, Emily. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing good. So it's a take on the classic baked Alaska. So it's a chocolate cake with a crunchy peanut butter ice cream. And then it's dipped in a dark chocolate. And then instead of topped with uh, Italian meringue and toasted, I did a baked Swiss meringue. So to keep with the carnival theme, I made it into a lollipop. So it's like those big lollipops that you'd get at the carnival. Very nice. It looks so fun. Go ahead, judges, dig in. Looks beautiful. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's brilliant. The ice cream, it's a nice texture, nice and crunchy. The chocolate's just right. And I love the colors that you use. It's really fun and psychedelic. Good job. Yeah.
<laughs> it's absolutely delicious. Amazing. So, our next contestant to present their dessert on a stick is Marco. Hello. 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 Oh, I got an audience. <laughs> So it's a fake candied apple. The outside coating is a black currant uh, um, ganache. And then uh, the inside is caramelized white chocolate mousse. And it has a nice uh, Ferrero Rocher uh, inspired uh, center, hazelnut paste, and uh, toasted hazelnuts. Very nice. Sounds wow. good. <laughs> mm. oh. You think it's hard like a candied apple? Mm -hmm. Well, I can hear it. <laughs> Delicate. I was a little bit worried there that uh, the chocolate was a little thick, but you know what? Crunched a little bit and it just melts away beautifully. I like that nice tang that kind of cuts through that creaminess and it's very visually pleasing. Uh, appeasing. Good job. Well done, Marco. Good. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so we're going to go to our next Natasha, contestant, Natasha. Natasha, why don't you come up and present your dessert to the judges? <laughs> you have a lot of support today here, Natasha. I do. <laughs> I do. Yeah. So it's a banana mousse with uh, there's a little layer of uh, vanilla sponge cake in there. There's a little sweet uh, cream cheese layer, and uh, there's a cocoa butter glaze, and then a mirror glaze, and some little confetti. Very nice. Very yes. nice. What do you think, judges? The beer is so much fun. It's just so fun. <laughs> gooey and delicious flavor comes right through. Mm. Right. Very gooey. Mm -hmm. It's very good. I love the visual. The creaminess in the, uh, the middle. I would say the mirror glade was a little uh, like messy, but and there's a slight bitterness. But overall, I love the concept. It's very outgoing. It's very fun. It's different. I definitely could see this being a carnival favorite. And it looks amazing. So good job. Thank you. Right, thank you, Natasha. Thank you, Joe. Our next contestant is Salma Noura. Salma, do you want to come up here and present your dessert on a stick to the judges, please? So how are you feeling? A little bit better. <laughs> a little more relieved. <laughs> OK, so tell the judges what you're presenting today. So I have a peanut butter mousse with a Swedish brownie and a cup of nuts as a layer. And on top I have a chocolate ganache glaze and some melted chocolate and crushed nuts. What kind of nuts did you use? Peanuts. What I do love you think? it. It's like a peanut butter cream pie in a coat. <laughs> oh, so nice. good job. I think it's the right amount of chocolate, cream, brownies. Um, crunch, brownies. And I, I think the the peanuts on the outside and the crunch of the cone, I think it just offers a great balance. It's a really good eating experience. So good job. Okay, so our next contestant is going to be Rula. Rula, why don't you start making your way up here? Okay, Rula, what, do you, what are you presenting to the judges today? I make um, uh, cake pops made with Philadelphia cheesecake and uh, Pistachio, uh, also a hint of uh, orange blossom. Beautiful. Rose water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I wasn't thinking rose water or anything like that. And it's interesting how you tied in something a little bit more uh, Middle Eastern, a little bit more exotic mm -hmm. with that rose water. So thinking like more like s'mores, kind of like North American feel. But I really like how you tied in those two cultures. I think this is actually quite excellent. So good job. Good. No, the, the, the flavor is just so wonderful. You get the sweetness yeah. and then the rose water. It's mm -hmm. wonderful. Yeah, it's great balance. It's a lot of fun. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Thank Good you. Good job. So our next contestant that's going to present the their question. dessert on a stick is Shahana. Rula. Rula. I think so. So what they have in front of them is a, is a mini eclair uh, frosted with cream cheese. And then the center, you'll find a caramel sauce and a banana pastry cream. What do you think, judges? 
It's almost a borderline that sweet and savory, that nice crunch. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I like the visual on that. It's really nice. It's almost like elevating a churro and doing something yeah. more magical with it, right? Very nice and love the corn on the cob uh, look. You know, I mean, that's carnival. That's what you're always running to go to the carnival for. And so it was really, really Thank you. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Okay, our next contestant that's going to present their dessert on a stick is Shumaila. Okay, Shumaila, how are you? I'm okay. <laughs> okay, so tell the judges what you're presenting to them today. So, um, it's, uh, I'm, I made a French wheel croissant uh, filled with marshmallow, peanut butter, uh, coffee cream, and I decorated with the chocolate uh, Ferris wheel. Very cute. I love the, love the look. Mm. I love the concept. I love that you're going in that circular shape and then you're stuffing it. I think you got a, a really nice texture on your croissant, a nice caramelization, and the filling, absolutely delicious. Just be careful a little bit with the chocolate because I think as you're eating it, you're gonna lose it all over the yeah. place. But overall, I love the concept. Thank Good you job. so much. Okay. Great, thank you, Shamila. Thank you. Okay, so our next oh. contestant to present to the judges mm. is Salisa. Salisa, come up. So today you have an Oreo cheesecake with a raspberry gelée that's meant to look like a corn dog from the carnival. Very nice. Wow, nice. Oh, Safe yeah. to say they like the presentation. <laughs> it's almost like a peanut butter and jelly mm -hmm. in a corn dog. Yeah. I love the uh, I love the creativity. It's almost like we've taken a pogo, make it look like mustard and ra mustard and ketchup. And then you've really kind of filled that up with a nice um, sa uh, savory sweet. But no, it's a really good combination. Thank you. I love how it looks like something else. So it's very fun, very carnival. Not good sweet. job. Thank you. Not too sweet either. It's really a nice combination of that peanut butter and jelly, like you said. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really wonderful. And just that whole appearance is just fun and mm -hmm. makes you think of going to the CNE, right? Mm -hmm. This is all good. Very good. Thank you, Salisa. Mm. Oh. So our very last contestant that's going to um, introduce Ooh. their dessert on a stick is Zenya. So it's a meringue cookie that is shaped like a mustache and I have put whipped hazelnut ganache with a little kick of cayenne pepper. Oh, okay. okay, sounds good. You can also hold it up to your face and like say, take a nice, nice picture with the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Always wanted a mustache that looked like that. I just can't grow one. A mustache that you can eat. It's yeah. perfect. Yes. A meringue mustache. Can't go wrong. Having grown up on macaron, <laughs> this this is such a wonderful take on that. A different way to eat them, different shape, I, just fun. And, yeah. uh, I know the kids would love this as well, so this is really, really very cool. Okay, so that concludes our first category. Our second category is donuts. Now you must use one of these three Kraft Heinz products, either peanut butter, cream cheese, or hazelnut spread. And you must have your Dona presented on an easel. Okay, so judges, what do you think of what's going on in the kitchen here today? Oh, this is really exciting to see all the uh, uh, pastry chefs working on all these wonderful, uh, delightful desserts is amazing. I love the, there's a, a bit of, 
that tense uh, anxiety. Uh, you can see that, but everybody seems to be having fun, and uh, the creations are just amazing. Looking at uh, what all the team is doing here, it's fabulous, really fabulous, and uh, inspiration for all foodies. Okay, so we're getting ready for our second round, which is the donut round. I'm sure everyone is excited to see what the student competitors come up with. So uh, first off is Brickster. Brickster's gonna bring his donut up now for presentation. Um, I have for you is a pandan donut glazed with um, ube with a hint of cream cheese. And the donut is shaped like a flower. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, very beautiful. I love the color of it. It's a little bit almost psychedelic, right? So I love the color, a little bit of coconut. It, I like it. it's not as sweet, right? It's almost kind of like it's a little sweet and savory, but I love the color. It's very visual, it's beautiful. Great job. Next up is Emily, who's going to bring her donut creation up to the front for the judges. I try to go with kind of a churro inspired donut. So I have a, a yeast donut and it has a cinnamon sugar on the bottom, like a your churro would. And for like the chocolate sauce, I did a hazelnut spread pastry cream using the craft hazelnut spread. And then it has a glaze with um, salted caramel. And then I topped it off with a honey sponge toffee that has roasted hazelnuts in it. Sounds Very delicious. Nice. Lots of cinnamon and looks like it you was can too really delicious taste the hazelnut for comments. Too. <laughs> That's a good sign, Emily. Mm. Mm. The crunch there at the end, but then that creamy you know, hazelnut chocolate uh, filling, I just want to eat the whole thing. It's, uh, <laughs> it it, it makes street churros uh, yeah. obsolete. <laughs> That's a beautiful product. Very nice. Okay, and now we're going to bring Marco back up to the front. So with this donut, where do I start? Um, it has a lot of ingredients, it has a lot of components. Inside it's a lemon curd and a lemon gelé. Um, the icing is a, this a torched uh, jet, jet puff uh, Heinz product. It's been torched over and over and then remixed to give it a smoky flavor and then I torched it one last time for color. But Amazing. So judges, what are your, what are your um, initial thoughts? On I the love donut? it. The donut is nice and fluffy. I like how bright, not sweet, the lemon curd is. I think it really complements the fluff because the marshmallow is a little water. bit sweeter. I guess I but then I just wanted to make sure I tried the lemon, uh, the lemon twill or the qu uh, crisp. Um, it could be sliced a little bit thinner, but I love the f uh, fact that you douse it in pop rocks and I'm getting that nice sensation in my mouth. It's, it's, um, you can say that little layer of entertainment to eating your, uh, your lemon curd donut, but it's absolutely brilliant, so good job. I don't know why, but Carnival made me think of Elvis for some reason, and he really liked bacon, peanut butter, and banana sandwiches, so <laughs> that's what the donut is. Ooh. Wow. Okay, judges, and what are you thinking as you taste this one? Oh, I, peanut butter and bacon. That works really well together, right? <laughs> I'm going to do that every morning. Though. Very Didn't nice. It didn't work out so Very well nice. for Elvis, but we're all no, good here, no, right? No. <laughs> Thanks so much, Natasha. Thank you, so really good. Thank Thank you. you Natasha. Okay, and next up is Salma. Okay, Salma, so remind us about your donut today. Yeah, so it's a basic dough donut and a coconut glaze icing. And also I made like the, some macaron cookies. Okay, judges, and how are you feeling about this dessert? 
I, I'm a big fan of uh, coconut cream pie, and this is uh, the best coconut cream donut I've ever had. So uh, I love how you incorporate just enough coconut into the, the cream, uh, not too much. It's very nice on the palate, not too gritty. Very, very good. Love how you use the fluff as well. I'm a big fan of, of growing up on fluff. Um, no, delicious. Very, very nicely done. Very good. Okay. And next up is Rula, who is going to bring her donut creation to the front. I flavor the dough with biscoff, and I choose uh, for filling buttery cream with uh, craft hazelnut spirit, and I decorate it with a chocolate and hazelnut, roasted hazelnut. Oh, good job. So what was your inspiration for the flavors in this donut? Uh, I like the combination between Biscoff and uh, hazelnut. I think you absolutely have an amazing product there. So good job. Okay, and next up is Shahana. Okay, and here comes Shahana with her funnel cake inspired donuts. And Shahana, just remind us what your flavors are here. So it's filled with a peanut butter whipping cream, and then it's topped with a chocolate uh, peanut butter ganache mm. and a funnel cake with some icing sugar on top. Mm, chocolate and peanut butter, classic combination. Looks delicious. Yeah, I, I definitely like the combination of the funnel and the donut itself, which makes it s sort of super caramel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, carnival, I'm sorry, but um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and all the flavors are just coming through nicely. Good. Nice. Next up is Shumaila. Um, so I made a key lime flavored donut. I covered with the lime zest and crushed um, coconuts and the chocolate swirls, green and white chocolate swirls, yeah. I love how light and fluffy and how light it was. It's like, it's a pillow of air. The only one thing I'll say is like, be careful, it is raw, right? So be careful with that. Make sure you're always tasting one before, uh, before giving it. I think it's a phenomenal dessert. You just gotta be careful on your cook time a little bit. Very cute donut today, Salisa. Today we have an apple pie bacon filling with a peanut butter glaze, crushed peanuts on top, using the Kraft peanut butter. And it's decorated to look like a bear, because my favorite childhood stuffed animal was from a carnival. So I figured, bring him into it. <laughs> Very nice. Great use of theme. The peanut and peanut butter is almost like too much. I mean, it, because the apple's so delicious, you yeah. know, you'd want that to come out a little more. But it was really that good. And it's so nice. cute. Thank you so much, judges. Thank so you, Salisa. Okay, and next we have Xenia. All right, and Xenia is presenting um, a really fantastic looking take on a hot dog, which is a donut, so amazing creativity. Do you just want to remind us a little bit about the flavors you've used today? Uh, the flavor is a strawberry cream with a meringue and mango ganache for the mustard. I think it's brilliant. I really love, like, I didn't expect the, uh, the meringue to be so crunchy, but I think it gave it that, uh, uh, that different texture, right? When you're eating a hot dog, you got that nice soft bunch and you got that snap from the hot dog, and I think you've emulated that very well. A little of the pastry cream for the, uh, for the mustard and that strawberry uh, filling. Mm -hmm. So it, it's definitely making you think hot dog, carnival, and all the elements work very well together and the textures work very well together. So good job. I think you've done an amazing job. Nice. Thank you so much, good Xenia. Job. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Great work, Gina. And that concludes our donut round. Awesome. Okay, so our next round is my favorite round. Uh, it's the cake round. But not just any cake, a cake that defies gravity. Now, you must use one Kraft Heinz product and make your cake look very realistic. When we look at these cakes, we want to see detail in your design and we want to see your Kraft Heinz product defying gravity. Okay, so last round, cake round. We're going to have each of our contestants bring up their cakes to the front, their anti-gravity cake. So ready? Start making your way up.
from a long way. Come on. <laughs> Good job. Great job. Okay, these are our final anti-gravity cakes. So each one of these cakes features a Kraft Heinz product, and we're gonna throw it to our judges to start looking at the cakes, observing the cakes, and uh, grading the cakes, okay? So take your time and uh, look at the cakes individually, and um, then we'll tally up the votes. Water pitcher there? Okay. <laughs> What are these? Uh, those would be uh, like uh, the, the meat. That the you meat? Uh, okay. Like okay. Beautiful. <laughs> the steak on Amazing. this is fantastic. Isn't that, isn't that incredible? <laughs> yeah, that is so cool. Okay, so we have reached the most exciting part of our competition today, um, but before that, we're going to give all of the students um, a, a certificate of participation, as well as a wonderful swag bag that's been provided by Kraft Heinz and a beautiful participation medal. So we're gonna start calling our students up. Okay, so the first one is Marco Lee. Here. Let's have a big round of applause for Marco. Okay, next up is Emily. <laughs> okay, Salisa. Okay, Shumaila. There we go. Natasha. Let me just take my own. <laughs> Rula. Okay, big round of applause for all of our contestants. Is everybody ready? Drum roll. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our third place, our bronze medal. I don't know who it is. Let's see. It is Salisa. Good job, Sarah.
Alisa, how are you feeling? Third place. Very exciting, thank you. <laughs> so all of your hard work has paid off? Yes, yes, all the hard work, time, effort, really. Do you have anything to say? Uh, thank you so much to everyone who supported me and encouraged me to do this. Thank you to Chef Koo for encouraging me to apply and do this and helping us. So, yeah. Good job. Congratulations, Alisa. Good. Okay, so now we are going to award the second place award, which is a silver. And that award is going to go to... Xenia. Wow! Amazing! Well done! <laughs> How do you feel, Xenia? I'm really happy, thank you. $500. Whoa, very Good nice. job! Well done. For the 2023 second annual Humber Pastry Cup, winner is... Da, 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 da. Rula! <laughs> well done. Well done. $750. Rula, what do you have to say? Oh, thank you for everyone. Uh, every one of them do a lot of efforts they have a great job under supervision chef Ku, a lot of instructor behind the scene you all always uh, <laughs> being helpful for us thank you thank okay. you good uh, job Rula. so one last thing we have to do go grab your cup go grab your humber pastry cup right there right there go get it hold it up high coming today again thank you to our judges all of our faculty who have helped for the Humber Pastry Cup and all of you for being here and especially to our winners great job and all the participants today thank you good job My favorite part about the Humber Pastry Cup is the student experience, the adrenaline, the rush, uh, the competition. I mean, that's why I'm here at the college. At Humber College, we are the innovators. We are the industry, so we like to start trends that the next generation can see what we're doing. So I want to congratulate all the participants for participating. You worked so hard. You've been practicing tirelessly, spending hours on your spare time, and you guys deserve all the credit in the world, and I'm so happy for you, and best of luck. <laughs>